The next ring is collaborators, the people you're doing it with. The next ring is facilitators, um, people who make it possible, even if they're not the musicians themselves. So teachers, audiences, uh, nightclub owners, whomever. <laughs> Um, the next level I call community. Uh, kind of everybody who's directly somehow connected um, to a local kind of improvising experience. And finally, at this highest level is what I'm calling society. Uh, and the, the difference I want to think of between these two is, um, uh, for one thing, size or scope, I think of this as being a larger, taking in even more people potentially, ultimately, I don't know, all of humanity. Um, but also temporal, uh, that this is how music becomes placed within history, for instance, and within biography, in the ways that individuals making music in a moment, uh, improvising in a moment, are also enmeshed in this long span of time. <laughs> If it's not too much, I'll say, I feel like I'm like a physicist. I want a unified theory of everything. Uh, I want a unified theory of everything, like physics. So, in thinking about these three areas, I have three proposals for sort of new research. I think all of these are areas that there's already research in, but I have three things that I'd like to do that move them forward, that move them beyond. First, sorry. The first of these has to do with mind. Um, and this is that I want to update and rethink through theories about the relationship between improvisation and, cons and composition, uh, which I think of really as a way that we think about musical creativity. To me, an answer to this new research would have real overlap with, um, for instance, the, the presentation that uh, Tamaho Miyake and uh, Tarahiko Imara gave yesterday. It would answer questions like, what is structure? What is form? What is style? What is freedom? What do we mean by these things? Uh, the second of my proposals involves interactivity. And what I want to do here is develop more complexity in our understanding of communication in music, straightforwardly. And here I see an overlap with, or an interaction with um, the work that Akira Toshimori was doing yesterday uh, at the piano, um, where I'm answering, I want to answer questions like how is interactivity sensed as well as rationalized? How is it embodied? 
How is it in the person? How does it, how, how, as he said, does moving the foot and the head release the hand? How does that happen? Um, and how is it at times defeated? How are the, what are the times where interactivity doesn't happen? Um, whether it's because you're playing silently uh, or who knows? <laughs> Uh, and then finally, uh, a proposal for training. I want to move the focus, as I said, from formal or curricular improvisation pedagogy to informal uh, lifelong learning as an important component, not the only one, but an important component of improvisation uh, teaching and learning. Uh, in the version of this paper that is printed in your bulletin, um, there's a long bibliography. I won't go through it now uh, in the interest of time. Um, but I hope it'll be useful to you in just exploring this further. There's a lot of new research on uh, improvisation. Um, one of the things that I did note as I went through and sort of thought about this stuff is that it's still mostly very much oriented around five musical traditions, uh, or maybe more, depending on if you think some of these things are not unified. Um, uh, this isn't bad, it's just what it is. I do think it would be useful to uh, think more um, outside of genre and more about improvisation in, in more general terms or more uh, cross genre terms. But the five genres that I, or types of music that I think have been commonly studied are jazz and avant garde improvised music, Western classical music before 1850, North and South Indian classical music, Middle Eastern classical traditions, and Indonesian gamelan traditions. Those are the main ones. Um, I do want to talk about a couple of major, I think, conceptual advan advances that have happened uh, through the last decade of people writing about improvisation. Um, things that help put what I'm doing now in the context. Um, the first of these is that I think, and this came up yesterday too, I think we as scholars of improvisation at least are in general no longer satisfied with the terms improvisation and composition. They, they do not, in fact, um, seem to represent what, we're, what we actually think people are doing uh, when they make music creatively. This is partly because there's these lingering ideas about improvisation as though it's not something people